All right, Monday morning, roll on. Um, I had a bit of a break, obviously, I had about five days off because of Litlin. She uh, came home from school with a cough and a temperature and whatnot. So I had to stay off for the time being. Um, managed to get a test eventually, just by sheer stroke of luck. And that came back yesterday saying negative, so back at it. Um, so I was talking to someone the other day who's out Wales way, who reckoned he'd be game for Ranger Bash second go sort of thing, like, uh, you know, if we do one in the winter, or towards the winter. Um, he actually makes compost toilets and all stuff like that. He said he could bring one along if it happened, you know. Um, um, he was talking about that place, he'd actually been to it, that 60-acre camping site, wild camping, I think it was called Nash. Um, Nash Oakland, that's what it was called. Um, so obviously us all gone a bit shit at the moment because we're all the six, bloody 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Um, but I'd say probably something like you know, start of next year, February, March, April, wherever, whenever. Um, we'll have to do one, won't we? We'll have to get something going, get a bigger group of us. I mean, obviously there was like eight last time. We could get something like 30 of us camping or whatever. That'd be a good, really good crack. Um, but it's just a case of like, like I say, getting a place big enough that can house, you know, 30 rangers. And because uh, I did say it to the bloke, I said, "Oh, this wild camping like is brilliant." And uh, I'm sure there won't be a problem with 30 of us rocking up, camping in the truck or under the truck or whatever. But what do you do about Dunny? <laughs> and he was like, "Ah, oh, well." Um, one of the places has actually got compost toilets, and another place is just kind of like, you know, bring your own sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that'd be a good laugh, wouldn't it? And obviously, Wales way, there's plenty of green lanes out and about, so that could well be a, a good little weekend away. So, we'll have to see about organising something on the forum. So, I do apologise for those of you who have ordered stuff. Obviously, last week, that's all gone a pot a bit, so I'll get it all out this week um, I don't like being late but it's just the way it's gone at the moment really um, the other week the laser cutters didn't the laser cutters usually have a five day turnaround once you, uh, you know, put it all through and then delivery obviously and uh, it took two weeks for stuff to come the other day so that really put a hold on things and then obviously this whole debacle waiting for that test to come back and then being off work and you know, not even being able to go get a pallet picked up and stuff. It's been a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. So, yeah, apologies for that, but we're back on it now. Um, and yeah, we'll see what's what. I mean, I still keep people, I still keep getting people asking me to do some more shackles because I've only got a few of them left. And I think I'm just going to have to keep doing them in little drops, you know, drops of 10 or 20 for the time being. Um, because obviously I said I weren't going to do no more, but it seems kind of, not harsh, but um, it does seem kind of sad if you can't get them anywhere else and people are after them to stop doing them. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep on just kind of, you know. Wheels measuring up for some wheel spaces. What do you reckon, 15 for the fronts? 20 mil. 20 mil all round. 20 mil, that will come flush with fender. Oh yeah, I'll shit. I'll be rubbing like a fish. <laughs> <coughs> nice. Take an all and speed. Look how low it is, man. Look at that. If the grass grew anymore, it'd touch the bottom of the car. And then the rears. How come the back's tucked in so far? We'll get 20 mils for the rears, I reckon. Do you reckon? 20 I mil? reckon. All right, so what a surprise. I mean, you guys must think I'm making this shit up, but it's just shambles at the moment. Another two mils broken this morning, and um, they've got one of the old Haas engineers who's like gone freelance, got him in to fix them. Um, apparently there's a problem on the boards anyway. Another thing broken, that's all good. Um, but yeah, I've just been cracking on with some star work today, just some sliding head work for a company down the road. Um, I'll see if I can put some pictures in, but basically some really small parts, like 2mm diameter with a thread on them.
just made 60 of them today so yeah um, I'm going down the field now to see Charlie uh, I didn't get anything done at the weekend obviously because I had to self isolate but it's all good now so I'm going to see what Charlie's got up to the weekend and I'm going to give him a hand tonight which should be interesting apparently he done some spraying on Saturday so I'll have a look at that and um, we'll try and get her topped up with some antifreeze and some power steering fluid and we can give her a bit bit of a run for a bit longer because um, obviously we test started it and that but we didn't have the power steering reservoir full up so there weren't a lot of fluid in the system so we just give it a quick run just to check if it's alright so yeah righto yeah so MOT's booked for Friday see how she does she's usually alright but I'll whip that off take that off for MOT because that's not strictly uh, yeah you know yeah tomorrow obviously Charlie's truck Charlie's down the field so we'll try and get that closer to being uh, finished and then it's just the interior so that shouldn't take long you know you can soon whip seats out whip all the door well the door cards already off to be fair um, all the A pillar B pillar trims all that we're going to switch the headliner over so that won't be too difficult whilst everything's out just get the old um, you know drill with the screwdriver bit in and just buzz everything out uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say probably, probably much. It's up totally now, but I'd say a week or two, and that'd be done. Because he's only doing sort of one evening a week and one day at the weekend now. So yeah, two weeks, one week. Should be running, driving. We can put her in for MOT. Ah, but the bumper. Yeah, we've got to do the uh, front bumper, haven't we? So we'll see. We'll see what I do with that because he did want to be uh, like half build it for them whatever so can you guess where I'm going gotta go down to PEX get some more parts to fix these machines um, just fixing an air leak on the lift ram of the guillotine so there's obviously the hydraulics for the shear there's pneumatics for the lift ram hose is split on that so we just got that all stripped out ready to change the hose put it back together and also this morning I've fixed a polisher or diagnosed the polisher and I've got some parts coming in the post to fix that. So it's all happening. And just fucking look at this Delcia that's gone past. She nice one. Snorkel, roof rack, bull bar, lift, tyres. I don't mind the odd Delcia, I do think they look quite cool. Especially the old ones with the square front. I wouldn't mind one of them. They ain't got any hose. So it looks like I'm going to have to have a look down team sprayers and see if they've got anything. Not good is it? Oh my god. So I was going to go down PEX to get some more stuff to fix this other machine. Um, like some couplings and stuff. Mm. Got a little list of shit to get. But anyway, so I've set the machine up this morning to sort of get that going and then I can fuck off and do this maintenance. And um, it's like bombed out on the first part. Now my machine's broken basically, the power driven tooling's all seized up. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a curse at the moment by the sounds of things. Everything's busting. So, um, yeah, down pecs to get this stuff and then I'll see what I've got to do for the rest of the day. Um, Lunch time the other day, I made these for Charlie, so that's, um, what do you call it, power steering, so that's return from the box. And that's the suction side to the pump extenders for the body lift, obviously. So I got those. They'll be nice. And I went to go use my air gun last night. That's what these are for, for my air gun. And she's broken. So that's another thing to tinker with. It's not a hard fix. It's just a little O-ring around the, um, not the reservoir, but whatever you call it. Anyway. There's an O-ring in there, it's shrunk, it's gone old and cracked because it's got the CO2 around it and that kind of fucked with it. So, throw a new O-ring on there, a bit of grease, be good. And me and Tom can have a bit of fun with that. Um, Tom come down last night, done his tow bar for MOT, he's got MOT today as well. I've got MOT. Um, yeah, and then tonight we're going down the field, Charlie's coming down. We're going to try and get his truck kind of buttoned up in the sense that we can throw a seat in and give it a test drive basically so 
We'll see how that goes. Got so obviously I said a while back that I'd do a buyer's guide video and to be honest I'd taken a few videos for part of that um, but I hadn't finished the rest, you know, I hadn't done every point as it were. So with Mark buying a, a Ranger, you know, possibly a Mark II or a Mark III, this is an ideal time to do that video. So I'll be doing a little buyer's guide basically, your, your checkpoints, you know, and how to go through it with the cold start, you know, checking things from cold and then checking again when they're hot basically. So we'll go through all that, things like blow by, um, checking for hot start issues, particularly on a Mark 3 or 4, and where to look for rust basically, the common points for rust. I know it can start anywhere, but there's particular, you know, suspect areas like the foot wells and the rear joint between the bed and the you know mud guard, tub, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, and we'll just give you a run through like things to watch out for and things that go and you think, oh, that's not too bad a fix and parts that end up being quite expensive. Nice one then, pretty good run today. Bloke come in, put a new computer on my desk and everything, sort that out. Um, just installed the program and software for me, Deco. And the, the chap from Star came in and just fixed me machines, put a new motor on it. So, all in all, not too bad, eh? It's time for someone else to do some maintenance. So, machines back up and running. I've got tomorrow off, and then Friday when I'm back in, I'm going to set a load of jobs up. And once they're going, I can start fixing the other bits and pieces that have been sort of catching up on me at work. Lots to do still, um, hydraulic leak and stuff. So yeah, yeah, bit of a break from the maintenance, get someone else to do it. Going over to see Charlie, we're going to put the head, well we're trying to get the headliner out of the old truck and whack it in the new one because all the cables are in place. And then, depending on the weather, if we can't do too much work because it's raining, we'll just go bosh it under like Wickham Bridge, do some magnet fishing. So I haven't been too hot on the old videos lately. Um, I put a couple up the other night that I just had a chance to edit. But a lot of you guys have seen uh, Hillbilly Deluxe from you know what was like a week or two ago. So you guys have seen Hillbilly Deluxe sort of first start. Um, but she's a lot more further ahead than that at the moment. You know that was kind of like three days worth of work back so that's like last weekend last Friday so now I mean when I get a chance obviously put the rest of the videos up but it does take a while to do um, but she's actually on the body she's running she's driving she's had a little chest drive um, she's looking pretty sweet let's put it that way so all in all probably next weekend hopefully by next weekend be sort of ready for MOT. Charlie's got number plates made up, he's got all the little bits and pieces we need, um, bulbs are in, so I need to pull my finger out on the bits I'm doing for him and then we need to pull our fingers out with the whole wiring situation but apart from that it's looking pretty good. Roof rack's going to be a sort of afterthought because we've obviously planned for a roof rack but that doesn't need to be done for MOT and it's not critical so we're going to put the mounts on leave them up there and then um, when we get time we'll build the roof rack spray that up and everything will be there ready to bolt it on same as the lights you know the wires will be there but the lights won't be on the roof rack yet um, but all the other stuff's wired in um, plumbed in like I say she's running driving and stopping so yeah we're kind of a bit ahead than you guys have seen you know you guys on YouTube have seen that she started up for the first time the other night or that was kind of like three episodes ago if you know what I mean in our, in our sort of terms so yeah pretty nice it's, I'm kind of sad that it's coming to a bit of an end really because it's been good fun and we're putting a lot of hours on it and now we're thinking you know oh, it's good that it's done obviously but it's going to be a bit like oh there's nothing to do <laughs> So, yeah, maybe we'll see what else we can get on with, eh? I know that once that's done, we will have a bit of time stripping these other trucks out. 
for when they sell the field, so...